Diecast is for mature audiences only. I'll make sure that it's uh, it's a warning. For properly immature, mature. Pro properly immature. I wonder if they could do that, like, instead of, like, you go to a, a fast food place and, and get fast food and sit in. <laughs> Fat, fat guy sits in his car and reviews it, but he goes to like amazing video, gets porn, and sits in his car and reviews it in the parking lot. I'm sorry? <laughs> you lost me at porn. Replace the fast food with porn. Like, oh. fat guy in a car goes to amazing video or some sort of like adult video store, buys his porn, goes sit in the fucking parking lot and <laughs> reviews it. Where were you at the topic at the, the start of the show? That's fucking amazing. <laughs> Holy shit, could you imagine that? Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Diecast. I am Taka, the producer, and with me is the co-host of the Friends of Phil, Game of Thrones and Walking Dead recap shows. Dirty. Dirty, hello. Hey, how you doing? How are you, sir? I'm doing very well. It's fine afternoon. Yeah. So we are, uh, this is, I guess, the first die cast, so. This is the first. This is the first, uh, actually, like, cast of any kind for this channel. Exactly. Uh, I'm going to be uh, honest, full disclosure. I have very many failed podcasts. So this is not a this is there not a no podcast. failed podcast. This this is not failed podcast. It's just ones that we just don't feel like continuing. I, you I lose guess. interest, I guess. No, like, see, it's they're they're all just cast. I mean, they're all or not, just they're part listened, of the cast family. Somebody listens. Somebody talked. It's not a failure. Yeah, an we, idea we all was had put fun. out there. A seed has been planted. True, true, that's very all, true. That's all it is. As always, I am not in the camera, but I'm right here. Hello. I like to, as, as everyone knows, if you've seen any of the videos that I've uh, kind of like disappeared. I have no face. I am the faceless man of uh, the Game of Thrones. It's kind of weird to look at him from here because there's, there's no face. It's, there's no face whatsoever. I uh, blew up my face with 180 firecrackers. Sparklers, actually. I... Uh, I live somewhere in Texas. So, and well, what kid hasn't like gotten a hold of a bunch of firecrackers and like after after a few years of getting like the ghetto, you know, uh, playground firecrackers at fifty cents a pack or whatever when I was a kid, and then it was like, okay, well, I want to like cut them all open and strap stuff them, them all together with toy. duct tape and make a bomb, make a boom, as the mom said in the news report. I'll admit, I tried to do that as a child. I tried I, to do I that with firecrackers. <laughs> I, tried to, I tried to do it with firecrackers, and I lit one firecracker, and like it was a mini version, but it was just like as soon as I lit it, boom. Oh, we used to and hold it, them in our fingers, like light them and like let them challenge go off each other in our hands. What is like, wrong with you? It it would make your hands numb. It was a it was it was it was, it was a very like jarring for the first experience. Time at Ten like oh my I just hands remember, are numb. You know how like when you play like well I don't play these anymore, but like the Call of Duty games. And whenever someone throws a flashbang, and if you're if you do not get out of the line of sight, you hear boom, and then all of a sudden your sound, it almost sounds like you just got deaf, and there's a ringing. That's pretty much what happened with me and my brother. So nice. that uh, it was it was what do you got? Lemony Snickety's unfortunate events. <laughs> yeah, name name a bad Jim those. Carrey movie, probably that Liar Liar. Oh, Check. That was so. a good one. So many, uh, many. Goddamn, Ben is blue. <laughs> ben is blue. <laughs> Goddamn, Ben is blue. So there is no structure for this show, uh, but there is a structure. All structure. This, has this, been there lost. is all structure has the structural integrity of this cast has not been casted. It's been casted awkwardly, like a really bad uh, Halloween mask. He has no bought. structure. I have no integrity. It's a mess. Perfect. Um, what I'm trying to say is I, I detest a lot of podcasts, and I do not like people doing the shticky. I You know what? I, I've done the shticky kind of radio DJ thing. I've also done it for YouTube videos. I've done it for Twitch things. I'm just – I'm so sick of it. I think that – I think that we were talking about it earlier and the fact that I never used to be scared about showing my face and being like a personality and being happy and peppy and trying to get people to watch. 
And I don't know if I can be characterized as happy and peppy. Though. No, you're not. You're the opposite of it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the opposite. No, you're of a happy horrible person. Either, but. <laughs> but I think that uh, there was a point where I just just didn't care and i didn't understand why people didn't show their faces or went under a certain persona uh like certain people like um like the person that i i do i wouldn't say i don't idolize anybody that creates content i just see a a good idea when i see one i think that there's a lot of people that are doing it right these days on youtube and a lot of people are doing it wrong um that's just my opinion uh, Joe, are you familiar with any particular people on YouTube that you may like? Uh, there's people that may be a little too over the top, and there may be people that are doing it facetiously, or like, like you know, just like a big old fuck you to the viewers. And some people that just don't even show their faces, but just do it because. So I am familiar with absolutely no one. Oh, on great! <laughs> then I'll be able to educate you. It's like, like I, I. Uh... I have like six or seven channels that Phil told me to check out that originally when I got those channels, I checked them out, but almost have never been back for more than like a four second watch. I actually don't watch much YouTube unless it's like some sort of like animal viral video thing. Animal? What do you mean? Like an animal attack? Uh, animal attacks are great. Uh, I'd watch are they those. great? Are like, they great, Joe? They are great. And I also watch a lot of. You know what? Else I watch a lot of on on YouTube. If I'm watching, I watch uh, this perfect timing for this actually with the news the way it is. I watch a lot of like um, like fuck you. I ain't gonna do what you tell me. Videos with police. Like these are my Second Amendment rights. These are my Fourth Amendment rights. And go fuck yourself, police officer. Did you oh. ever see a video where a guy took a huge like rip? Uh, of a of a blunt and just ran up to a cop and blew it right in their face and just said fuck the police. I haven't seen that, but that is a very that interesting. I think it was a vine more or less. That's what kids are doing today. Those those are hip Instagrams and Snapchats. Yeah, and I watch those more so not because it's like a fuck the police thing, but it's more so I am very much in favor of people asserting themselves and asserting their rights and standing up for themselves and standing up for others and other people's rights as well so um that's why i tend to watch a lot of those i don't like people who abuse power and yeah abusing power and also people that are pretty much like taking advantage of a lot of people by creating this fake kind of thing and i there's there's a particular because i can educate you on a lot of particular really good youtubers and a lot of bad youtubers that i just think should just go away one we actually the YouTube gods, it just, it, I think that, like, what, what is it, Odysseus with the, the wings made of wax, where he flew, clu- he yeah, flew it was him and too his son. close to the sun, and, it was, um, I can't remember what it was, let's just say, uh, let's call him Fred, Fred had wings of feathers, yes, because, fuck, what am I talking about? Yeah, him and his son, Icarus. Icarus, thank you. Um, and uh, Icar- Icarus he's not Fred. He's Icarus. Is the one that died, and his father, his name began with a D, I believe. Dad. Dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Icarus Dad. So he, uh, they had wings, and humans, you know, fuck all. They have wings. They're, they're just gonna do anything, you know, piss on people while flying by. But um, I guess it's it's all about it's maybe a, a tale of hubris. And thinking that you're you are you're untouchable, or you can just pretty much do anything. Like you're you're King Kong, I am God, kind of Denzel Washington training day. There's also like training the day. biblical story. That's the Greek myth, or there's also the biblical story of building the tower so high that uh, God made it crash because it was too close to heaven or some shit. I think that, that I don't really want to touch on this too much because um, he's pretty much became Voldemort, where a lot of people just don't even speak his name, but. There was a person named Daniel Keem, or Keemstar, or Killer Keemstar, who used to run Drama Alert. I'm pretty sure he runs it still. There's been a lot of uh, videos, a little too many videos. Keemstar exposed, Keemstar exposed. But this person ran a thing called Drama Alert, and he cre- he pretty much took all the drama and amplified it by bringing pe- two people together. And his stance was... Um, if a big YouTuber gets in trouble, they should come onto his channel so they can be, you know, vindicated. But if a small YouTuber wants to come on his channel, they just want to have exposure. And it's just such a weird 
weird thing. But he picked on too many people. And I know that I've probably told this story over and over again. But that's the guy who was responsible for the man at Franklin uh, almost having a mental breakdown. A guy named Tony who still, to this day, live streams every day RuneScape. You know, you know what RuneScape is, right? Video game. Way old game. Old school game. Um, uh, Gl uh, Glory and Gold is on Twitter. Twitch. Twitch, Twitter, whatever. I don't even know if he knows, knows how to use Twitter. But um, he got the wrong information. Or he said his reporters got the wrong information about vetting a person. And it was a case of mistaken identity. But Keem just went ahead and went uh, – he didn't know it was mistaken identity at the time. But he was just so convinced that he made a video saying that this guy was a child pedophile that just got released from prison and he was trying to bait younger kids by getting their information or, 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 you know, trying to stalk them online. And he sent his little minions because that's the mom mentality on YouTube these days. Uh, people swear kind of like, it's kind of joking. Well, it's a Game of Thrones metaphor, if I can throw that in there. They're pledging their house to PewDiePie. They're pledging their house to Markiplier or some people or, you know, the far left, whatever you want to call it, are pledging their house to Drama Alert. So they all move their armies over there. And just torment them and saying like, you know, KYS, KYS, KYS is kill yourself. And the guy broke down and started crying and everything. And then they found out that they screwed up and got the wrong guy. And he starts making all these apology videos and everything. And that just pretty much put him another dot on the map for him. Uh, and he just started, he, he openly admits to doxing people, if you know what that is. Uh, doxing is when up. you put out your private information, you put out somebody's private information online. Doxing so people is. can harass you. Um, but I think the final straw was him um, exposing a, a, a person kind of like me that doesn't show their face whatsoever on video and putting out their face, their name, where they live and everything. Well, pretty much Keemstar put out a face of the, uh, the person. And that's a violation of a person's privacy. So everyone started, all his friends started turning on him and hence flew, flew too close to the sun. Uh, the wings started to melt. And he fell down. And no one really cares about him anymore. Somebody who's like 22 who does news. Just news. Plays video games in the background. Or you see video game footage. Uh, definitely go check him out. It's uh, scarce. Great news. He's one of the people that is uh, kind of supported and, and trying to push ahead. And kept the story that we're going to be talking about later about gambling uh, ahead. Um, he, he, he chalks full about 10 minutes worth of news. News, 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 news. It's amazing. And he surpassed Drama Alert to be the number one YouTube news. Tube news, as Jack's film says. Um, well, I mean, it makes what sense. What do you think about that? What do you think about just, you know, what do you think? Uh, it's a, sort of a beta question in regards to drama on well, YouTube because drama will always exist. And exactly. I mean, but somebody, somebody making it their point to make a channel devoted to exploiting that is just, it's... It's it's kind of shitty, especially when That's you know it's going to come back and hit you. As well, though, I mean, think about all like the, um, think about all like the the Hollywood Reporter, the TMZ, all that shit. I mean, that's the same thing, right? Like, the drama behind the drama, how the shit gets dealt with and made. It's always going to be there. Uh, going after anybody maliciously like that for anything is, you know, like a like like your fucking Batman is is a little ridiculous as far as I'm concerned, but there's always going to be a point if you're, if you're putting content out there and, and, and making videos or streaming or streaming video games or whatever you're doing, there are going to be trolls. There are going to be people who want to do bad things to you. There are going to be people who want to just leave comments because they're mean or just don't feel good or bullies or whatever you want to fucking call them. And uh, you have to deal with that. If, a, if a, one person or 100,000 people hit your fucking channel and say, go kill yourself... Who the fuck cares? One or a hundred? There's a couple of zeros. Who the fuck? Who the fuck here cares? Like, either either they're zeros after the number one, or they're just zeros fucking typing in shit. Like, either way, it doesn't matter what people really have to say, unless you want it to. I know it affects people. I know. Yeah, it definitely affects people, and I guess they added the new terms of service on YouTube in regards to trying to enforce people not bullying people. Right. Uh, it it may be a little less structured than uh, this podcast or oh, cast it's a video cast it's the die cast Let's get that straight <laughs> ahead die cast um but it's it's sort of weird because it seemed like everything on youtube has escalated in the last maybe six months 
Maybe in 2016, everything escalated. Celebrity deaths, YouTube problems on either side. You got people creating more drama, people exposed for more drama, and then you have people that are up in their game. They're going from kill yourself to trying to expose people or trying to find out exactly where they are. And this brings us to one particular story that I thought was very interesting that I was reading. Um, also on YouTube, Joe, I don't know if you know this, but a lot of very, very popular YouTube personalities um, have had their channels hacked. Uh, whether it be uh, Boogie2298, who's known as Francis. I don't know if you've seen videos of the angry gamer, like a really fat, overweight looking uh, Peter Griffin style guy with a goatee. And he was beating up Xboxes and mm -hmm. talking with a lisp. That's yeah. like a character that uh, that uh, he does. Somebody pretty much deleted his channel, hacked into his account while he was at VidCon, which is a big like YouTube conference thing, and deleted his thing. But here's the thing. Just like Facebook, if you say, I'm going to delete my account, really it doesn't, doesn't delete, delete it. It just puts it in hibernation. Because I, I accidentally accessed my old account and it was back up. And I'm like, no, no, delete. Um, yeah, they were able to recover it because there's servers upon servers and servers and backups and everything. It. It's just backing up your computer. They'll always have a copy of it. Nothing really gets deleted. So they, they went out there and some guy is claiming it, responsibility for everything. And They want to make it as easy as possible for you to come back to their site. Yeah. They don't want you to have to create everything all over again. You might have created videos and content and then have regretted your d deleting it. So they want to make it as easy as possible for you to get back into it and come back to their site and see those fucking ads and get those ads yeah, out yeah. there again. I got to say that, you know, the whole, whoa, mama, you know, uh, I shouldn't have did that. Um, it's got to be something. If, if, if it's journal? on the internet, oh, oh God, it's never you just going me. away. If you, you put just it on the internet, it is me. like a herpes virus. Oh, let's talk about that for a minute. What? The it's never going away, the shit you just reminded me of. Really? Oh, okay, my talk about it. God. All right, let me let me tell you one thing that I, I put out that I regret. Let's talk about videos that we put out on the internet or whatever, or put stuff on the internet that it's there forever and uh, it's never going away. So, um, I, there's not much that I've put out there. I, I don't think there's anything particularly that I've put on the internet that I'm like, oh no, I can't believe I just did that. I'm gonna like, I, I shouldn't have done that. Like, I, I really don't care. It, some people will love me, some people will hate me, and and pff, I, I honestly give two shits which one of those people you are. But bottom line is, you're watching at the moment, so thanks. Because <laughs> people will always, there's there's an ability to download YouTube videos, and people always, if if somebody finds, like if one person, it's like it it. It multiplies when one particular YouTuber wants to expose somebody and somebody accidentally delete or somebody deletes their content because they, they screwed up. But there's always going to be a person watching, getting alerts. Oh, they posted a video. Oh, crap. If they know what's happening, boom, delete. And then they're going to yep. make a video and say, I have a backup. Go here or download it here. And it's just boom, 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 boom. So have you ever been asked to take a video down? Yes. Absolutely. I do believe that we had that problem. <laughs> Funny you should mention that there, Joe. Uh, we had a charming fellow that we were uh, live streaming with, and he was acting like like teenagers do. Oh, here, here's another thing. Somebody pointed out, I don't know why I didn't notice this, but now I notice it all the time. Everyone with a username or gamer tag, whatever, if you ever see a gamer tag with like numbers in it or X's in it, Odds are they're probably 14 years old. Odds are they're a really young teenager. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. You know what? You're the exception because you're you're a, a what? Like a Z or whatever? No, well, I have I have a bunch. Like, I my previous gamer tag was XX or tag XX Dread XX. Okay, well, how old were you when you did that? Let's just say you, 30s? Weren't, you, you weren't that old. I was like maybe 29. You're in your 20s. But I'm trying to say it's for like, like, Killer X Sniper 44211. It's like, you know that's a 13-year-old. Because oh, no. you know they wanted that gamer tag and they'll just add another number on there. Just Until they get it. And, and, and it's not that. You know 90% 90, 90 of the time, 95% of the time when you see uh, three numbers, it's their area code. Four, five numbers, it's their zip code. 
six numbers it's their birth date like honestly you can you can look at those numbers and half the time like half the time you can look at them and be like so uh gamer boy uh 10 18 84 that's your birthday huh <laughs> and they'll be like uh uh and it's like are, are you serious have, you put your birthday there really i think i actually have the most unique steam account name on there yeah. mine is malicious underscore link dot exe that's pretty clever, huh? Because, you know, I think I got that because I'm a big fan of Mr. Robot. Have you ever seen Mr. Robot? I watched Mr. Robot. Isn't I that think great? it. You know what? I'm a. I liked it. I enjoyed it. But you're not all in. Well, the thing is, is I've seen this before in movie Fight form. Club. So, there, I, I will say, I did not really fully expect that twist, the Fight Club twist that ended up uh, happening from it, but. Um, I do like the story. It is compelling, and it doesn't surprise me that so many people like it. Everybody uh, wants to be a hacker or wants to know a hacker or would love to be able to do this shit. And, I was actually um, studying computer science and uh, networking and all that jazz, and I had to take programming languages, so I know Java. And I think that the one thing that a lot of computer tech nerds and everything loved and the fact that they actually used real you know, software that real hackers use because real hackers, um, real hackers, people who manipulate code, who, um, who break into and use exploits, I would have to say. Right. Computer, figure computer, the computer savvy, figuring out. the stuff, using Linux, using Ubuntu, using that software. It wasn't like that magical hackers movie. You remember hackers? Yes. Yeah. Is that or sneakers with uh, Redford or? I no, uh, just read Johnny Lee Jolie, Miller. Joe Lee and Johnny Lee Miller was hackers. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was a magical uh, acid trips and everything. And I get what the director was trying to do, but getting back to that funny uh, gamer tags and the kids. I remember, yeah, about 14, 14, 15 years old kid, and you know, they it, it was almost like somebody decided that they were going to take all the YouTube comments they may have said. I'm not saying that this kid did this, but it more or less was like you know or like. Facebook comments like dab or or using inappropriate language or just, you know, like a walking, talking meme, like a me, uh, like puking up memes. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Yeah, it was puking up memes and it was getting a little too much. And I told the person, you know, don't mention and I'm like and they kept doing it and kept swapping it out, thinking that they're clever. And the, I think the funniest thing I, I, I really wish. That video didn't disappear, but I do, I do love the ending, oh, God. where it's like the pleading. Do, you do know that, and all of a like, okay, great, are you guys, uh, can you guys not post it on YouTube? What are you talking about? We're, we're, it's already on it's YouTube. All, we're on Being YouTube right YouTube now. We're like, we, we found out. What do you mean? You're live streaming? Yeah, we're live streaming. Well, can you not post it? Can you take me out? No. It was the first thing I said to him when he when he joined our party, was you're being live streamed. It's it's like a. Uh, it's a warning, like warning. Please do not try this at home. I think that was hysterical, but it's just you. You removed him, and all of a sudden it's just like I'm trying to play. Boo message. Boo message. Boo message. I'm like, <sighs> I think you're very stern with him. It was. I it, was. I. I yeah, uh, yeah. I was very scared. You very. You. You felt like it. You felt like a dad. I. I. I've been told that I do get a certain dad tone and vibe with people. Yeah, it was definitely I, a dad tone. It was pretty. Uh, pretty uncomfortable i was very i was very upset and uh i i tell everybody when i when i stream video games and i'm streaming live and i go into a party or anything like that if it's not just i'm going in with randoms because everybody on their ps4 has the ability to have their settings so that their voice can be shared with more than just the people they are playing with i for example with the stream with someone casting with someone uh recording from their machine if your Xbox isn't set to share, your voice won't get shared. So I tell everybody when I'm in a party or I say, hey, set your settings to be shared if you want to be shared and you're being streamed and I tell him what channel and I tell him to go subscribe. And he knew that. And the only three times I've ever had any interaction with him while I was live streaming, him wanting to be a part of the live stream, him asking to play with us, him playing with us, and then him saying after hours, of some great, great gameplay that night, and yeah, that was a good great night. conversation. And even this kid, he was being, uh, he was being <coughs> a teenager. He was being 
fun. He was being interactive. Yeah, like they do. He was he was saying things that some people might find provocative. Some people might find rude or offensive. Some people might find that shit absolutely fucking hilarious. And other people might be completely fucking ambivalent about the whole fucking thing. But for some reason, he just wouldn't stop with the take it down. I don't want to be there. And he knew the whole time. And it was very annoying and very upsetting. But uh, that was the one and only time it will ever happen. Yeah. And it I think will that, never that's your, happen That's your again. warning. Bad kitties. This to anybody story. that's ever gaming with, with us on the channel. I'm sorry, just Joe. To, just to know. Joe is putting his foot down. It is down. He's and uh, the very, only reason why... On hairy leg. The only yeah. reason why I did take it down was because, you know... I am a softie. But um, one chance, one chance. Now and ever, you, and, you and owe yeah. me your life. And now that and now that this caveat has been put out here, and this will be on the channel. That's it. Hmm. That's it. That one kid ruined it for everybody. Sorry, everyone. You're fucked. Proper fucked. Proper fucked. Proper fucked in the cunt. <laughs> it's funny that 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 word is so so, so unbelievably unf uh, offensive, but instead of. You know, in, in England, they, they say, oh, you're a proper cunt. A proper cunt. The, uh, but, of course, we find that offensive, but we use the... the you're a proper little we, we twat, use aren't you? He's like, oh, you're a proper... Uh, you're, 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 you're one hell of fuck. Huh? Fuck off. Yeah. Fucking cunt. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand <sighs> that. I, the, the, the whole swearing thing is, 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 is kind of... Um, interesting to me when i think about that but that's very interesting that's that's a good example of somebody who wants things taken down um i would have to say in regards to a lot of people that regret taking things down i think that there's one particular person on youtube um mo and et who do pranks pranks also became a thing of the past this year uh it, it's just a prank bro became a literal meme and then it became a tired meme and then you look at somebody who uses that and be like yeah, you're 12. Yeah, no, I, th I've seen some of those prank videos too, like some idiot kids go some dangerous place and do something stupid to people who aren't in the mood for stupid shit to be done to them and get themselves beat the, like, there's some people you just shouldn't prank. Some people don't prank. There's people who have a flight instinct there's people who have a fight instinct. Yeah, it's fight or flight. It's it's a normal, um, healthy reaction. Um, I've seen certain people um, get beaten up live on camera. And some of them, I've seen people fake get beat up for the views. And that's when it got out of hand in YouTube. This is the history. I'm teaching the history of YouTube. This is fantastic. Well, it's, it's all out of I mean, there are fake prank shows, too, on, on television. Yeah, that's the weirdest thing, how somebody is exposing... A prank show. Hey, I hate to break it to you, but pretty much every prank that you see, more or less, is fake or staged. And when people say, "How dare they fake a prank on on the internet?" It's like they've always faked pranks. They they fake prank calls. I've said this time and time again. Any prank call you hear on the radio on FM radio, Morning Tribe, they're all they're all fake. They're all fake. You can't you can't prank call people and uh, do it on the radio. It's illegal. Or something, you can't do it. It is illegal. It's, it's it's the the way they get away with it is um like when you listen to, uh you know how they have what is it Maddie in the morning or something does that uh we're gonna ask you thirty questions oh, when yeah. you when you uh pick up the phone do you brush your teeth or blow your nose when you uh tie your shoes in the morning do you like a finger in your ass like and these are like the the and like the person be like what and one more question when it rains do you have semen hanging from your chin. And, like, the person will hang up. But these prank calls, so you can't just pick up the phone and dial randomly. But when you join and they say, join our thing and we'll call you. And you could, or when we call your name on the on the radio, you could win $1,000 an hour if you call back or whatever. You know, be part so of our workforce. or So you give them the number. And when you sign up for these kind of contests or, or fan groups or all of that shit or sign up to be part of, like, the... The like, uh, uh, you know, morning host DJs, whatever, you agree to participate 
and you click that box and all this shit. You're and an so then knowing participant. Right. And now you've given them permission by joining this group or this uh, membership thing on their on their online because they told you to so you could win or hear your name called That's or whatever. Ridiculous. Then now they have the right to call you and to prank you. So, and I have so a you'll get the you, call Joe. and not know. Um, do you have a finger in your butt and or semen on your face? <laughs> I have in both situations probably. So I, I I'll get real. I'll get real no holds barred, right? Okay. So in my early uh early 30s I went in complaining of a back pain, really horrible back pain. And uh my doctor he says, "Okay, take your shirt off." You know, get in this robe and all this shit, right? So I do. And he's back there and he's poking at my back doing this, doing that. And he's like, "Okay, stand up." Okay, can you bend over? I do. And he says, okay, now, uh, so you no pain, all this. And he says, okay, now I want you to get up on the on the thing here and kind of get in fetal position. So I do. Finger. Prostate exam. All right. It uh, seemed to be recording, so we're going to be uh, gritty in three, two, one, go. So there's, and so I do. I get up on the table into fetal position like he tells me. Before I even fucking know it, I'm getting a prostate exam. Had no idea. Went there complaining of a back issue, of like back pain, of spinal pain in my lower back. And next thing I knew, I was getting a prostate exam, and I was fucking like, "Whoa, what the fuck?" Sorry, I guess I should have told you. So yes, I have had a finger there, and so most likely, one, uh, two, three, two, four. yeah, three in the in all hand, the whole nah, yeah, it was. Very uncomfortable. I doubt it was more than one finger. <laughs> well, you have you haven't ever you know when you're you're finishing a poop, you never like go in there and getting a good deep clean. Oh, that's different. That's a that's that's a rimming. Yeah. That's, that's a whisking. That, that's that's a, not a deep a protrude. Like how far do you go in with the toilet paper? The toilet paper is not coming back out. That shit rips. <laughs> Can't help it. Can't help and it. And as far as semen on the face, come on, I'm a 40 year old man. You know how many times I've masturbated in my life. <laughs> There's bound to be some gun on my face. <laughs> Keep it 100 here. Keep it 100. Keep it in 100. Keep it in 100. Keep it in 100. I would have to say that um, uh, I've never done that. And uh, nothing. What? Never masturbated? Never masturbated. Oh. Keeping it 100. Keeping it 100 whatsoever. <laughs> A-OK. -okay. I've, I've, I've never done that. I've never looked at any of those things. I don't know who Bailey J is, and I have no idea what Bailey uh, J. Uh, SFM Overwatch um, special made movies <laughs> on the internet are. I'm, uh, I, I do not know that, nor shall I ever know that. And that is a fact. But um, let's just, just, I guess, wrap up this whole YouTube thing. Uh, there, um, along with this year, and YouTube changing a lot, and the whole people, big time people going, there's people that have made it serious, like Markiplier, who uh, had hair like me, it's like Asian maybe, red hair, like rooster hair, but you know how my hair was kind of like one one color here and one color there? Uh, yeah, I went to Pax, Pax East, everyone had that haircut, I'm like, I'm never having that haircut again. Like all 14 year old kids had it, and I'm like, no. It's not gonna happen. The copper, but, the copper tone on one side, the red on the other. Yeah, and yeah. The well, he had it kind of like reversed, but he's like, YouTube has changed. YouTube has it, changed. You know, and remind you of the uh, Eminem look when Eminem came out. Yeah, everybody had yeah. that. that it's very on. interesting. Um, then all the people are making jokes about it, but YouTube has definitely changed in the last uh, six months because it went to almost like uh, and then right up here is just you know uh, Daniel Keene and all the other social things and it just terms of service and then all of a sudden it just slowly kind of like bringing it down I'm not saying it's declining but I would have to say that there are a lot of people YouTube that are more or less res it. what YouTube Red killed it you think yeah uh, I think that YouTube Red is a horrible mistake <laughs> it is uh, it, it's featuring I think that the, the, in, in its entirety YouTube has pretty much gone down the tubes just to be one of those just um, it's awful fans going, it's not the way it used to be. Well, I think that you could probably say that theoretically it I is. am right and anybody who says that is right because they no longer feature. Like I remember back in the day when I was a kid, they used to have the YouTube and the most viewed videos and would be sometimes people you never even heard of that weren't famous stars. 
But if you go to YouTube, you don't even have an account. All you see is like celebrities and Tonight Show. And it's like mm. um, Alex from IHE brought up the fact that there was a lot of um, what I would say. Like they should stay on TV. All those and videos are for advertising. Yeah, to it's get like people you're making money off of TV. Why are you coming on to our platform with the same material to make double the money? It's because marketing, money. Yep. I, I can't hate it because I'm a, uh, I'm I'm a marketing person. I'm I'm all those. I'm a marketing guru. All uh, those Kimmel, all those Leno, all those, all those like night show clips that they're like, oh, watch this person uh, make fun of themselves with Kimmel. And it's I, like a five-minute clip. I, I, that's a that's a video that's only allowed on YouTube, so that they can get you to come watch Kimmel on television. It's a commercial. It's a I commercial think that those, video. Especially Jimmy, uh, uh, not Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel's okay. Uh, I don't find him that repulsive. I think that Jimmy Fallon uh, is is unwatchable, and that that James Gordon is cancer. Straight up, like if you want to put that nomenclature that people on YouTube use. James Corden with cancer. Him just looking like I remember he was he was quoting that he was a biscuit. I remember one thing, it's like, Oh, I'm a roly poly biscuit and I'm making things and it's like he is the i I've never seen a, a host. I think Seth Myers from Saturday Night Live is doing a better job than he is. And he's trying to do all these like little YouTube things, more or less like driving around a car, karaoke with like, you know, famous people. Yep. Because it's it's like um twentieth century Fox and doing their animated stuff because like DreamWorks and all these other things and anime things they're, they're good they got talent but then you got you know eh. oh, we'll just bring in some it's, celebrities it's comedians driving in cars getting coffee only yeah it's like the Jerry Seinfeld singing. thing and um his ba rap battles with people I was like ah. so you ah. know far more like you know far more about this guy than oh, I do oh yes oh I, for someone who if doesn't you ask like me, him I know everything I'm, a, I'm obsessive and See, I that's, watch that's way weird. Too much you're like TV. you're like I don't like him. He's a cancer, and you know all this stuff about him. That's why I'm like, like no matter what I put out on YouTube, why should I regret any of it? Because for someone like you Absolutely. who's going to be like that fucking dirty locks, fuck him. That fat fucking dirty fucking hippie. I can't stand him. Oh, he does this. He does that. Oh, I've heard him talk about. Th it's like how? Why? How do you know so? Like I watched 30 seconds of him and Selena Gomez in a fucking in a in a roller coaster last night, and that's like. That and the Chewbacca Mama, the only two fucking things I've ever seen him do. This, if I'm thinking of the right person, right? What a cunt! And like, I don't like him, so I'll never really, I'll never see anything else. Like, the only reason why I know about this karaoke and cars thing is because of the Selena Gomez clip I saw last night. I'm a big fan of Selena Gomez. I'm gonna have to admit, big fan. I love those commercials. I love the one where she's in her, uh, her, um, her uh, unmentionables. I know nothing about and, uh, in a house, either. and she like snuck in like a creepy stalker. She was in this little black getup. It's nice, two piece. All I know is that she got beebed. She got be she got beebed. That's, That's right. All I know about her and Bieber's been inside Gordon of her. Coaster. And uh, but between that, yeah. If you ask me anything, um, I'm glad that this is a learning lesson because this is pretty much. We've talked about YouTube and we've talked about stuff that's changed and talked about stuff that we regret and things that we've seen, we've had experience with. You have uh, that guy. Uh, this is the last time I'm ever going to mention this person, but Daniel Keem. I see myself. If, if I didn't realign and think about exactly what I was doing um, and I fell, fell into that pit of pandering and trying to be relevant, I, I would have turned into Daniel Keem. I, I could almost see it because he's our age <laughs> and he was trying to be in picking fights with 20 year olds and who are making videos and it's just ridiculous. But maybe four or five years ago, he was, tr he was, he, oh, oh, he was grinding on that pandering. Oh, he was, oh, I was like, I can't believe it. it's like, he was, let's see, let's see. Well, what is, what is the one he was, he, he was pandering so hard country music stadium country music was man it's like hey tone it down a little bit because he was wearing the backwards hat he's like you know and he got the the the, the super sub like you know he, he almost looked like a meme itself he had the sunglasses on and he was calling like dj keemstar and he would have this wow. and he would be like we're trying to uh, approach being uncensored and talking about these certain things like seriously like in a serious manner 
but like he would do this without thinking he's almost like if that person um that we you know had to delete the video for grew up and i, I feel that kids these days who act like that grew up to be people like daniel keen because they feel like they had no repercussions they were like this and right there i'm glad he learned his lesson but this guy is infamous there's an infamous video speaking of things that here this is the cherry on top speaking of things that will never die and they were totally regret it is daniel keem calling somebody alex i remember that that kid kept on saying like oh, hey right. alex at the beginning the thing, of the pot yeah, yep. three two one everybody say alex is eight and he goes he was like i don't, I don't know it's just that's right. let's he, just say he for, was using uh, some of those racial epitaphs he, he's using he was using and like you know let's just say um you know, in respect, this is a, this is an uncensored thing. But in respect to a lot of people, I, I don't want to um, glorify or use certain things because if you keep using a racial a racial epithet or a racial word, you give it you give it power. So if you just say, you know, you know, Alex is a stupid racial slur. Everybody in the chat room say one, two, three. Alex is a stupid racial and that video will live and people put it in videos people put it in like pranks people have used that against him in the show and in other videos and that's that's all you guys you just heard a person say i'll never speak about that that particular person ever again and that's we're gonna we're gonna put the cap on that and we're gonna talk about better things like me being an encyclopedia Tacos. of knowledge and in regards to people who have actually done really good things on youtube I'm just going to run off a quick list. Um, uh, Ethan Klein, H3H3 Productions, used to make like really cringy kind of videos. Because cringy is a big keyword. I don't know if you know this, Joe. Cringy, cancer, uh, dank, dab, all these things. But on YouTube, people, it's either, you know, lit, it's cancer, or it's cringe on YouTube. Those, Those are pretty are... much the characteristics. Lit is, is, is uh, apparently okay. But you know, because that's fire. That's yeah, fire. Like, woo! <laughs> Love it. Oh boy. That's fantastic. Um, but H3H3 Productions is his channel. He also does videos with his wife, which are really awesome. Um, but, eh, you know, there are times I've seen other past videos where they literally would take a video of a person with like a learning disability or a person with a disorder, like a girl who's in love with boats and wants to have sex with boats. And they're, they're openly mocking and roasting this person. And then. They, they roasted one guy and they're getting sued by this person. So they set up this defense fund. So all their friends got together and donated and helped out these people to help out for their defense against uh, this person who's suing them for defamation. They raised enough money so they created a uh, kind of like a, a thing called a FUPA, which is like a freedom of whatever it is. Let's just say it, it defends people and their freedom of speech. Freedom of Broadcast Act. Yeah, pretty much. So. Or count. Yeah. Um, so they started making better quality videos the last week. Um, moving over to one particular topic in just a moment, right after we talk about one other, one other particular person. I know that we're dragging certain situations around on YouTube. It seems like it's circulating around everything as YouTube. YouTube is, I don't care, is pretty much what you could use that as the, uh, the, the title for this podcast. Um, Diecast. He, uh, thank you. Diecast. Bad boy. Um, they started making quality uh, videos as of late. Uh, they did the exposed video for the gambling stuff we're going to be talking around at the uh, the end before we answer some questions. And uh, also another person that uh, his name is Pyrocynical. He's another faceless person right here. Far more popular than me. Broke a million subs. Very proud of him. After he broke a million subs, he's the person that Keemstar exposed his real face on. He wasn't very happy because normally when people do a, a million subs... There was that mention again. Oh! Fuck! Told you. You can't. <laughs> you, you can't. You, it's... it's uh. All right. That was the last time. Fuck. All right. He's the person that got exposed in his face. And normally when somebody has one million subscribers and they've never shown his face, they do a face reveal. Like, hello. My name is... Um... But he started make, he started shifting. 
he started making better videos. He, he wasn't more or less roasting. He was very, very, very intelligent. And I would have to say that that's, that's charming. It's charming. I think that's, that's, a, that's a pretty goofy word to describe it and stuff. But he became more genuine. And he started making stuff, but then he started like more or less poking fun and making up things and joking. But not attacking this person, but attacking how silly the situation is. It was flipped. And he started doing thank you videos and started doing this. And started talking about that, that weird kid with the anime thing. That's hysterical. That that whole, this kid's freaking out over in Naruto the anime mm. and getting mad at Filthy Frank, who's not a real person. He's a character by George Miller, who's just, he's a fantasy. And even the channel says, he's not a real person. But he's like, how dare they disrespect anime and Naruto? Naruto told me what to believe. Just calm calm the fuck down, bro. Yeah, he's a super fan. He's a super fan. Yeah, I guess... Anybody would be a super fan, but you know the shirtless kid. Did you ever see the kid, the kid that was whining over uh, <coughs> Britney Spears cutting mm. her hair off? Yeah, I mean, yeah, come yeah. On. There's super fans Chris all Crocker. Over the... Chris Crocker. He he went there, and then he became a girl, and then he became a gay porn star, and now I guess he's straight or something. I have no idea. I don't, I don't know. know. It's, it's just it's a, it's a really weird world. I want to get out. I want to get out. Take it's it. not a weird world. Take There's it. nothing Take weird it. about it. Yeah. The fuck's it's, weird no, about I'm that? odd. I'm odd. I would have to say that's one of my major my major malfunctions. I'm a very odd bird. We are all each unique individual snowflakes. Yeah. Therefore, Therefore everything. What kind is of snowflake weird. are you? This is not Jeff? a weird world. What kind of snowflake? Are you a very intricate kind of I am cool? a unique individual <laughs> snowflake. She's gonna keep repeating it. I'm just like a just, you know, snowflake that's just a unique looks like a butthole. Individual. No, not a chocolate starfish. Chocolate starfish. Snowflake. I'm a chocolate starfish. See? That's the Look kind of that. snowflake you want to be. That's the kind of snowflake I'm, I you want to be. The, I'm the, the, the rarest chocolate snowflake you will ever see. No, it's, uh, yeah, no, not a weird world. Not a weird world. Whenever everybody says, oh, I can't believe this or that, it's like. Why? Why can't you believe why it? Why the fuck would you not believe it? Like. Stranger things have happened, my friend. Oh, much, much. It's ridiculous. In a world filled with furries. Um, in a world that Caitlyn you can, Jenner. In a world that you can kill Ned Stark before season one ends. I know. Um, in a world where people watch animated um, people have sex. In a world where... Uh, where people have sex with animals. Donkeys. Yes, yes, there's videos. I've heard, not not the real, I'm not talking about the real ones, I'm talking about people actually, you understand, I just know from keyframing and doing visual effects, how hard it is to go frame by frame to edit something, to even make 30 seconds of something. But people have devoted their lives to making videos with, <laughs> with Valve's uh, source filmmaker of superheroes or video game characters having sex with animals. Mm -hmm. And I look at it and I go, I believe it. I believe it. Shit. Shit's. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, diecast is for mature audiences only. I'll make sure that it's a, it's a warning. For properly immature, mature. Pro properly immature. Mature. Yeah, you gotta understand. It's almost Immature, like, mature audience. We're like a roller coaster that says, uh, that makes you sign a waiver. Or one of those bungee, bungee jump. Yeah, it's like a bungee jump thing. Yeah. Our uh, diecast is a bungee jump uh waiver form and when you hit the ground and somebody has to scrape you off the ground and then pick up the bungee cord blip, blip, blip. shovel sorry mm, just get a vacuum on a, a, a wet dry vac which is easiest moving on the um so what's this gambling thing you keep talking about? oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay anyway just to finish up yeah 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 great people I, I like them even more. I resub to them because they're, they're, they seem very grateful and they actually understand. They've, they've evolved like Pokemon. They've evolved into higher beings on YouTube and they moved. It's like moving with the cheese. They've evolved and they've, they've adapted. Other people have not. Moving on to the, uh, the absolute uh, feature topic of this. Oh, wait, is, wait. Those, before we go to the – that's the gambling thing is the feature topic. What about the Pokemon Go? 
you oh, the Pokemon Go. To? Pokemon Go. Let's just talk about this real quick. Have you... No, I know nothing about it. Okay. Uh, it's an app that does not work on my shitty phone. Um, sometimes. But it's it uses your camera. And you, you open it up. And you turn on. And you get to select a character. And it works off your via GPS. And it plays the cool music. And as you're walking around, your character's walking around in your area. And you could turn around. So it uses your... Like, it's use like the DS camera... So like it it's uses my like, camera and like films like the street. Yeah, and yeah. It shows it my character on my street. Google Maps, more or less. You don't really well. Here, here's it's two. It's a two layer thing. You open up the app, you see the character, and as you move around, it's like Google Maps where you see the direction where you're headed. And if you turn this way, and all of a sudden, like a Bulbasaur goes, Bloop, I'm a Bulbasaur, and then you tap on the Bulbasaur, and then that turns on the camera. And then you actually see what your camera sees, but then they have an overlay animated thing where it's like a Bulbasaur, and then you see it, and you have to like flick your Pokemon ball, I guess, at them, and it captures them. But that's where it ends for me. It just freezes, and it doesn't work. Okay, I'm gonna check. So I got this far. It's great. And Everyone's can addicted you to it. Battle people or just collect Pokemon? I'm not sure about that. I'm pretty sure if uh, anybody else in the. Uh, comments below can uh because it's just this. collecting pokemon this seems it's, it's, like it's pretty people it's are pretty gonna dumb. get hurt it's like every other nintendo game it's trash not ever smash brothers smash brothers is okay mario kart it's just mario kart i just nintendo I, I, 64 golden eye you got me there you got me there the uh i just feel like pokemon is the one thing that's actually kept nintendo afloat and kept them an actual video game company for the last 15 years it is it, it is because it's the, it's the exclusive product of nintendo nintendo is the only people that are allowed to release and i'm surprised for video game wise, for video though. game wise but i'm surprised that they were actually allowing i don't know i guess the main distributor or whoever creator made this app it's an official app it's not like a fan made app i believe and yeah. everyone loves it and so far, I don't see any DLC or anything. It's just these, one of these weird, cool, free apps that allows you to go around and use like the stuff inside your phone to find characters. And I've seen a lot of people do crazy stuff, and they take pictures of like you know they'll go around and on their fish tank they'll see like a little Pokemon sitting there. It's pretty cool. Like if I turn around my phone, I could see it like sitting right there, or sitting like right over there, sitting right next to you, and you gotta hit it. It doesn't do it. Uh, it's impossible. It's impossible to kill. What kind of phone is that that you have? Your shitty Android? Yeah. Yeah, the uh, Samsung Galaxy S5. Oh, it's old. Yeah, it is old. What do you got? An X, uh, S6? Note S7? 5. S7? Note 5? I heard the Note is pretty good. The it's good for VR. Awesome. I had a Note 2 that yeah. lasted up until, like... Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. No, I just replaced the screen. So it lasted like four years, three years. It's not bad. And I went with the Note 5. Beautiful. Not bad at all. All right. I think that that that's pretty much covers gambling. It's a, it's a it's it's a cool app. Pokemon Go is a cool app. Go check it out. Android, I'm iPhone. Definitely gonna check it out. And uh, so oh okay. Apps, video game apps. Uh, you might want to check out Uncharted 4's Treasure Hunter. Ooh. It'll give you relics for Uncharted 4 video game. That's funny. A thief's end. I, I, I like that. And also, the, the quick thing I think that we want to share right here, before we get into the gambling, that's going to be, uh, I guess, the 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 last big story we talk about. Uh, Uncharted 4, I remember talking to you about how uh, playing that and enjoying multiplayer, we post a lot of the uh, matches that we do, uh, either whole entire streams from Joe or certain quick matches that I have done that I deem worthy enough to be on YouTube. And because was, I'll stream hours of yeah, you'll, for yeah, myself. Yeah, hours and hours. <laughs> Make sure that you uh, hit the subscribe. Uh, hit it, uh, exactly. Hit that button, and you'll be able to get a Watch notification. Watch me fail for hours. That Dirty Issues is uh, Mr. Mister Dirty, Dirt Locks, Sediment Dirty Rocks. Locks. River Rocks. Smooth. River Rocks. River Rocks. Yeah, smooth. Smooth. Like that intro. That layer of that, film that, that, on a know. layer of river scum. <laughs> Smooth right into the gambling house. But, um, yeah. So what are people gambling on? With the All right, here, here's a, here's an interesting thing. I, I think uh, somebody made a joke about it on John Oliver for uh, that FanDuel kind of thing where it's like, oh, no, you're not doing this, you're betting this. And I'm pretty sure that spawned from it. But, okay, 
You're familiar with Counter Strike, right? That's the game they play on that uh, PC. Yeah, but they they're playing it on what's TVs. that? The the TV. Yeah, on... it's Pro, MLG Pro. It's 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 crazy fantastic how they uh, do certain things. It's 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 just pretty much become. I actually don't like that game. I don't. I I, I find it boring. I find that it's a boring. lot of people only play it just so they can have background footage while talking and doing commentary videos. It's the most popular uh, background game, like the the silent commentary kind of thing. Well, I, I was watching them play the tournaments on TV, and I don't know if they do it for us because we're viewing from TV, but when you play the game, are your enemies highlighted like that? Not necessarily. No, that's 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 an. I guess they developed that app from Valve because it's a Valve game. A lot of uh, Valve has a lot of good games that they actually have. A part of the whole Steam thing, I think that they have Team Fortress Two, they have um, Counter Strike, they have Dota, and I believe they have one other game. But Counter Strike is by far, in regards to like the most popular live streaming game, it's League of Legends. But then, uh, what does Valve have? Valve has Counter Strike. So the the top five, generally on Twitch, is like League of Legends, Dota, Counter Strike, Hearthstone, and something else. It's usually one of those games is usually always in there. League of Legends never dies unless there's like some hugely popular game, and on, on day one for like an hour or a minute or whatever. Um, but it's 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 very interesting to think about it because. It is becoming itself. It's people doing um, CSGO Surf where they're just using material like Leafy and Pyro and all these other people use it as background while they talk because they know kids love to watch it. It's, it's yeah. it's But the thing is, this is where the gambling comes in. Um, they, they have these websites. It, it grew exponentially in the last year. They have these, these websites where you, you gamble with skins like guns and skins and they call it a uh, um, crates crate openings or or uh, lotto stuff or whatever but there's a, there's like CSGO wild a CSGO one or whatever I can't remember that there's there's so many websites but you're you're betting against somebody else okay let me let me let me describe this and you tell me what you think um you go against somebody else. You put things that you own on the table to bet against stuff. And then you hit a button and it, and it spins around and it either lands on one thing or the other. And I, I choose the, uh, the terrorists and you choose the Counter-Strike guys and it lands on terrorists. Guess what? I, I, I just got your skins. What do you consider that? That's gambling. That's gambling. That's absolutely it's coin flip gambling. Exactly. That's what they call it. It's a coin flip thing, and you're pretty much putting your stuff on there. But they're betting skins or guns. But much like pachinko in Japan, that's how they run gambling there, and that's a legal way apparently to sneak in gambling where it's not technically gambling. It's a game of chance. You're only betting with skins, but you can take those skins and, and sell you them. can sell them for a lot of money. Anywhere from like one penny but to and, four thousand dollars. And that's the thing: the value only has what people have the value for. So you're not. Yeah, act- it's what the market deems valuable. Right. So and, if nobody wants, if and and here's the thing, they can tank your skin anytime they want. They can devalue your shit because say they've only decided to have three tiger gun print skins, like the this gun. We've only given out three people can only have this tiger skin. You can give it to somebody else, but only three people will ever have it at like at a, at a time because we only made those three programs. And so you're like, okay, great. I can sell this tiger skin for $1,000. However, the next day they say, we're going to print 10,000 tiger skins and give them out to everybody. Yeah, it's supply and demand. It's, it's no better than the uh, auction house. Uh, in Diablo, uh, crafting things, I guess in World of Warcraft, any kind of game where you can craft things and then trade them or sell them. God, it's uh, I've played Blade and Soul, and 
that's nothing but what the chat room you literally had to create your own chat room in order to talk to your team because they infest everything buy gold buy gold buy gold buy gold transfer gold transfer gold transfer gold it just goes nonstop because these Chinese farmers that's what Chinese that's where the Chinese farmers came out of play you would pay somebody to harvest gold in World of Warcraft while you're busy doing something else and then you give them a percentage of that because they'll just go on there they're like one of those sweatshop kind of like you know uh, Pakistani yeah, eventually just it boiled down to you can just buy the gold from you just give me five dollars and I will send you ten thousand gold yeah that's pretty much how that's pretty much how like all DLC works but DLC kind of does it legitimately we're saying we are off offering uh, offering exclusive things and we're doing this uh, right, but, but first, you can only first, get it from from Sony or from Naughty Dog yeah rather than you bought it John and then resell it to me at a higher markup you exactly. can't give it to me this isn't GameStop GameStop but yeah it's right, like, exactly. I, I love how they they put out a like an unfinished game and they just slowly add to it like building layers to a house and yeah oh that's really annoying they kind of did that to the last of us they like they like gave you and they kind of do it now too with uncharted where the download content came out but i either have to play and play and play for now i've been playing for a week i guess it's been out or a couple of a few a few days definitely a week three I think. two one I think it's been out for a week, and it's, uh, but other people can just go buy the guns and the weapons. Yeah, I could, that's too. That's what I did. But I bought the game. Why don't, why aren't, why aren't those weapons already here for me? Why is it so hard to unlock? Why is it had to be a game of chance to open up the locks? I just said, screw it, and I spent, like, $50 to buy tons of gold to buy all the weapons, to right. buy all the skins, buy all the characters. So and I'm going to unlock them the long way. Yeah, and he's going to unlock them all because he has better talent. So I'm a, I I uh, exploited the uh, the pay to win scenario. Getting back to the gambling thing. All right, now that we know that that actually exists and how they have the gambling issue and there's tons of websites. A lot of those websites will be deemed illegal soon in the U.S., much like a lot of online gambling websites that a lot of people do. Uh, those yeah, but it's sites, all unenforceable. What's that? It's all unenforceable. Exactly. Uh, you tell somebody that you can't have it, and they will find it. You tell somebody that your video game is unhackable, they will hack it. You tell them that the iPhone can't be unlocked, they'll unlock it. You, you have smart people out there, and... and, and Probably uh, more importantly, the people who have built it, who say they can't, ha that, that people can't hack it, will get hacked by somebody half their age, and it's amazing. But okay, I understand it. It's 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 okay. It's it's not a necessary evil, but it's an evil that actually exists out there, and it won't die. But here's the major problem that is right now, like. Another example, flying too close to the sun. Two people on YouTube are in serious shit, and they are going to be, they are getting sued. And the lawsuit may double, triple uh, in regards to civil lawsuits and everything. Because uh, there's a gambling website, and I'll, I'll see if I can post the article. I mean, fuck all with the, the information. Let's just say, let's break it down um, with the YouTuber's names. Or who, who they are and what they did. Somebody on YouTube named Honor the Call, he does a lot of uh, Counter Strike videos. He lost some money, I, I believe, on this particular website. And let me see if I can Gambling. get the right information because I'm a reporter. I'm a reporter. All right. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. I think I pulled it up. It's a pretty, uh, it's the only Kotaku. Um, article that I actually enjoyed reading because it actually just had facts. Hey, about everything the facts, is man. changing. Yay, facts. Nothing but the facts, man. Nothing but the facts. Joe Friday. Right? Yep. Is, that, is that it? Dragnet? That's it, Dragnet. Dragonet. Dragon Force. Right. Um, burr, burr, burr. I can't find the article, so I'm going to pull it off of Facebook. Um, we have a lot of interesting people out there. I want to give some shout outs. You want to give some shout outs to a particular bunch of people on uh, Twitter, maybe in the, uh, the, 
Friends of Phil Game of Thrones recap show. Brought people. to you by people. Yes, hi people. Hi. Hi everyone out there. Uh, uh, there's too many people to shout out to people. Uh Katie Crow. Katie Crow. That's my shout out. Good job. Thank you. Uh Al Red Sox fan. Al Red Sox fan. Shout out to you. You're the best. The Light Flame. The Light Flame. A Talk uh, and Talbot in DC. Shout outs Django, to uh, Doc Dabs. Shout outs to your friend, your follow I can't remember her name, uh, in South Korea. What's her name? Uh, D -D 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 My friend in South Korea? No, no, one of the followers. Sorry, not one of your friends. <laughs> one of the followers of uh, the Friends of Phil. That oh, is very yeah. active on the Facebook yes, yes. page. Uh, what is her name? What is her name? Uh, it should be right here. I, I talked to her a bunch. She's pretty interesting. Dragon? Timo? Uh, no. It's not Timo. Timo's a guy. I don't believe it. Um... Who else? Um, Lady Squee? No. No. Lady Squee. Shout out to Lady Squee. Uh, shout out to The Walking David. Ren. David and Keith Gray, uh, Grayson. David. Shout outs to Amanda May. I, uh, let's just say Amanda M. Bastos, who posted who posts a lot of stuff on the Friends of Issues guy. And shout outs to your, your fan in Dubai. It's one thing to have somebody watch your stuff and your live streams. But it's another whole thing where they actually take a point of calling your live mm -hmm. show from Dubai. And we had a Kuwait call, too. Really? Yeah, like right after Dubai was Kuwait. Blow it up! Blow it up! All right. Uh, all fucks aside. I swear to God I had this article, and now I'm mad that I don't. This article doesn't even add there, there, there's, no, there's no article. There's no article. There's no article. I have friend requests, too. I, I don't like friends. But anyway, I'm okay. I'm getting a lot of cheesy, weird friend requests lately from people that don't exist. Or... My stepbrother's an idiot. He uh, he allowed somebody he didn't know. He accepted a friend request from somebody he doesn't know. And uh, I was like, I don't know if you know this, but I think that's either a bot or somebody trying to uh, catfish you. Catfish. Lovely. Lovely what? dish. But okay. Bottom feeder. Two YouTubers made videos about a particular website saying, hey, cool, I was just checking out this new website, man, and I'm thinking maybe, you know, I want to do more videos with them, and they offered me a sponsorship, and they gave me a bunch, see if they can give me a bunch of skins so I can try it out, it'd be totally awesome, and, you know, and whatever, and, and then on came more and more YouTube people that do, you know, lotto stuff, lotto streams, or lotto videos where like, hey man, today I'm gonna put up my AK-47 up uh, for grabs and hopefully I won't lose it and uh, gamble away. And I've seen people make money. I've seen people like make $1,200, 4000 But pretty much all of this is a farce because along with, well, allegedly fall. No, actually, no. No, I can say that now thanks to uh, Honor the Call, uh, Ethan Klein from H3H3 Productions, and Scares. Because Honor the Call was the first person that actually investigated it and found that that particular person, TMAR10, it's like Martin TM, whatever, uh, and also um, Pro Syndicate, um, you know, British guy, very popular, millions of followers on YouTube. And uh, it was found out due to... You know, hey, they had something to do with this company. They were pretending that they were friends or they just found the website. And they uh, straight up just, you know, they are part of it. They're promoting. It's almost like me going, hey, everyone, I have. See, I'm going to raise my voice now and pretend like I'm a YouTuber. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Taka, everyone, with the new crate on opening. But before we do this, let me sound like SpongeBob. Bam! Yeah, we're going to do a gamble. I'm going to put up my um, 9 millimeter Beretta. It's ultra rare. And it's worth about $1,000. Let's see what I can do. Oh, by the way, I have no affiliation with this website. I just found it randomly. Oh, my God, I won. Oh, my God, I walked away with $2,000. This is amazing. Ah. What are they gambling on? Just They're gambling on their skins. But this guy said, one of the, I believe it was a Team R10. Um, he, he said he got a bunch of skins and he was doing this, but all the videos that they posted was them winning. It was the greatest marketing thing I've ever seen. It's completely legal. Um, it's complete. I would say immoral because 
the majority of the people that they have who are their followers are kids who love Counter-Strike. Why? Because it's that whole mythos of you buy a game and then popular people live stream it and if they make cool videos or they make funny videos, that makes little kids want to buy the game. That's the reason why Call of Duty still works. It's not because Call of Duty is a good game. It's just that you have people like Nadeshot. You have people playing it. Well, that actually, that's that's wrong. That game isn't as popular as what it used to be. You have popular people playing a game. And then they do funny videos. And because of YouTube and Twitch, they have little kids bug their parents to buy the game. So they can in turn make funny videos like those people because they see how popular they are on YouTube. Right. It's the reason why GTA 5 is, ve uh, is very, very, um, uh, it's still selling well or it's sold well. Granted, yes, it's a good game, but uh, the main majority of the reason why people buy it is to play online against other people. That's the major reason why mm -hmm. people play Call of Duty for so long. People, play, uh, people buy Counter-Strike. For fifteen dollars, twenty dollars, whatever it is, they play these games because they know that they want to become famous like these people. If they put together a Call of Duty montage or a Counter Strike montage, it, it's it's all about. A lot of people buy the games just to live stream them, not to have fun. That's the reason why I don't have the games now. I don't play the storylines. I don't play on live stream. I want to enjoy. It. I want to be immersed in it. Sometimes I just don't feel, hey, I got an off day, or maybe I just don't want to live stream it. We become this culture. On the internet, they just wants to live uh, that wants to buy the games just for the entertainment value of live streaming, in, in hopes that you can become famous. Hmm. Anyway, getting back to the story about the gambling. Onto the call exposes them. He gets shit from everyone. Their fans, Pro Syndicate and Martin T. Martin. You're lying, you're fake, you fabricated it, blah, 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 Ooh, get wrecked, mate, uh, KYS. And then he make, he doesn't stop, good kid, does not stop. He's like, no, 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 you can see, they own that website. All that stuff they did was fake. They didn't win. They rigged it to win. They made you think that this website is lucky, it's hot. You should go on there. And you should bet your weapons. And if you don't have weapons, you should put your money on the line. Get your dad's credit card information. It's like mm -hmm. the whole joke about the person in the 50s saying like, ah, send us a, go inside your mommy's wallet and grab those dollars and then send it to me via mail. Yeah, you're still not allowed to like gamble with goods. Like it's not just illegal to gamble with tender. So I don't, like I don't understand it, it, It's a loophole. They got away with a loophole through the mm -hmm. video games because you're not technically like Pachinko. Pachinko works like this. You put the money in to play a game. Sometimes it's visually appealing, like Persona 5 or what they're doing with the whole uh, Silent Hill thing. They make pachinko machines now. Konami does. And it doesn't give you money. It gives you silver balls. And it hits in there, and if you get them inside the trap, cool. You got all these silver balls. You could take these silver balls with you. And then you possibly, sometimes, walk across the street to another store, and you exchange those silver balls for gold bars. No, I'm sorry. No, it's silver bar. Yeah. No, no, no. You get... Sorry, I screwed this all up. But chicken machine, blah, 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 silvers. You get to exchange it for like a gold bar. It's like a medallion or a gold bar. Yeah, it's like medallions and stuff. And you take the medallions and you walk across the street and you cash them in for real money. That's how it goes. It's that blurred line. It's that kind of like split thing where it's like a mediator. Boop, boop, well, and it gets through. That's no different than the It's chips. still gambling. It's, but according to the that's law, that's casino chips. Yeah, those are casino chips. But technically, according to, it never goes from A to B straight. It's always a connecting thing that, like, a, an outside, like a middleman. That's how they do well, it. Well, they're just using a, a third party to launder the chips. Yeah, It'd be yeah, like that's saying, pretty okay, much you what can it cash is. in your it's chips amazing. here at the at, at the Hilton, but in order to get your money, you got to go over to the Stardust. Exactly. <laughs> that's how they do it. Technically, when somebody looks at it and go, okay, you doing this? You're going on this here? It's a game of luck? <laughs> Either or? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's gambling. But people say, legitimately, in a marketing standpoint, when people do that, they use PR companies say, no, 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 it's not gaming. It's a game of chance and it's fun because you're only gambling with skins. And skins skins don't cost any money. Skins aren't real. Skins are just part of the game. Skins you can use in the game. It's all part. It's all cosmetic, blah, 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 blah. But it's all about the supply and demand of the game itself. 
which is really interesting when you say about this. So it was revealed under the call, keeps going, keep going, right there, doesn't stop. And then these guys put out a video saying, all right, you know, and this guy, he, he will not shut the fuck up. He's pro syndicate smart and just, you know, puts out a tweet and say, you know, hey, we won't, we're not going to do it instead of saying anymore. That's all he said. He's been very sound. But this guy keeps making it. T. Martin, T. Uh, Martin, whatever his name is. Let's just call him, you know, this guy. The, the, this this guy. Um, that guy. That guy. That fucking guy. He makes this stuff. He makes the video. Listen, okay, cool. Well, you know, yes, I do. Because they found out he owns it. And he goes, yeah, well, you know, I do own it. But the thing is, I didn't own it at the time. And it was owned by somebody else. And uh, I was just checking out because, you know... You know, I didn't want to invest fully in and say I bought it and have it not work out. And then, uh, okay, yeah, sure. And all his leads of fans, his mom mentality fans. Yeah, okay, cool. Just, you know, don't take advantage of that anymore. Thank you very much for being honest. And then more and more people come out. One in particular is Ethan Klein from H3H Productions. He got his series. This is the reason why I changed. He used to use, like, dick fart and jokes and go, Bleh! and make jokes and DJ Khaled stuff. Like, but then he literally, his video starts up with the FUBA thing saying, this is the freedom of act. We are uh, exercising our uh, right of freedom of speech. Any, um, any uh, action to take down this video will be prosecuted. And I'm like, whoa. And he starts bringing, he starts bringing the heat, starts bringing all this stuff. He's straight out acting like a prosecutor or like a, a prosecuting attorney. Woof. He finds out. Not only did he own it, he's the guy who created it. He's owned it from day one. And the vice president, he was the CEO, the vice president, pro syndicate, the mm -hmm. other guy. So they knew about this the entire thing. They marketed it toward teens. And they say, well, gambling, it, it, well, it's it's a game of chance. And they put like mature stuff and you can only be 18. He also added after. It's before a game he, of skill, not a game of chance. Before he posted the apology video. He edited all the videos to say, uh, I am affiliated with this thing. You should only play unless you're of age or 18 plus. He added these things after. But with the whole exposed videos that, that Honor the Call did, I believe, showed nothing like that. Right. He edited it after the fact. But then, yeah, it's crazy because you do that. But when you go to the website, it says 13 and over. They're allowing kids. So essentially, this is what it breaks down. If, if you don't understand this whole entire video lingo, just think about it this way. Um, somebody creates an app for a phone for your kids. It's like Candy Crush, but just, ama just imagine they have to use your credit card or put stuff on your bill. And they're betting your money against another kid's app on his phone and his dad's money. And some kids are losing out considerably. They made a South Park episode about it. The whole Canada thing help Canada with the Terrence and Phil game yep. where all that money was going to Canada and they were re they're building everything it was just it's amazing it's like you, you, trying to hard to get your mind wrapped around it and go wait a minute all right so hold on what, what you're trying to say is my son using my credit card or my phone or whatever my credit he found a way to get my credit card yeah it's, take it a stance like say for instance I'm I'm your credit card company, or I'm your statement, and say, hello, oh, hello, dirty locks. Um, here's your new statement. Uh, currently, right now, you owe us four grand. And before I said this, you owed zero last month. What is your response? I don't open my credit card bills, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> just pretend. Okay, just pretend you got a bill for $4,000. And you had nothing, or so, or, or so and so opened up your your yep. mail, yeah. And you wonder, did I get hacked? Did someone steal my credit card info? Did somebody do this? Where are these charges coming from? And they say, um, uh, it looks like it was uh blah 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 Counter Strike, uh blah blah blah. And you're, and you're like, what the hell was that? Uh, it looks like a website, and it looks like there was multiple charges throughout the month. Uh, spanning anywhere from fifteen dollars all the way up to like nine hundred dollars. Uh, well, negate these. I didn't charge these. All right. Uh, maybe you should ask. Has anybody had access to your card? Well, maybe. I, I think my son 
and then you ask your son and you find out that he's big counter strike and you put two and two together what's the game you're playing that's oh, called counter strike really uh am i explaining this I don't think so. and you find out that your kid took your money and then bet it against other kids just for video game skins or lost all this money that's because as have... as you as we know the house always wins but that shit's been happening since the beginning of these app phones with like the smurfs game the kids charging up thirty thousand dollars of it on the and what about like porn phone 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 porn porn hub no phone porn phone porn like phone sex oh yeah yeah like yeah, kids yeah. used to call and the parents would be like why do i have a ten thousand dollar phone bill and the phone company said we'll wipe it off this time but next time we won't believe you yeah. So next month, your 12-year-old calls again. You call the company and say, my 12-year-old did it again. They say, too bad, we don't care. And it's like, how's a 12-year-old under so contract sad. with a phone sex company for $14,000? You know, of course not. And I think there's a reason why I brought this story up because gambling itself and video games and DLCs and not to, not to say um, that DLCs and whatnot are, or, or they are, eh, they're shitty. All right, but they they should not be in the same category as gambling itself or this particular gambling. Um, gambling in itself has been <coughs> the oldest thing in the next to uh, I guess prostitution, killing, looting and pillaging, gambling. Did I say gambling twice? Gambling, looting, pillaging, raping, killing, killing more people. Murder, rapist. Murderers, Faith. rapist. Faith and rapist. <laughs> rapist and faith. Gambling rapists. Killing gamblers. But oh my goodness. We've devolved it's to rape talk. Rape culture. Triggered. Triggered. <laughs> Triggered, Joe. Triggered. Um, but the what I find is so interesting is the fact that, yeah, oh well, these things exist. All these websites exist. But the fact that these two YouTube people with the huge channel that they have excuse me the huge channel that they have uh exploited these kids by making it think because they're dumb they're, they're about as dumb as the kid that was on our live stream that's impressionable who thinks it's cool it's a it's a double downer it's like they bought the game to be cool to live stream also they love the game because they want to get the skins and they want to trade with people or gamble with people. They don't know they're really gambling. They don't understand it. Gambling, the legal age is, uh, nine, is 21. Mm -hmm. Because that's when you're in a, an actual adult. You're you're far past 18. You should understand right and wrong. But they don't understand Unless the ramifications. Unless you're talking about scratch tickets and lottery, then it's Yeah, easy. yeah, yeah, yeah. The accountability. They don't have an, any idea about accountability. So when somebody who's a crazy YouTuber who goes... Man, what's going on? Hey, we're gonna open up the bugs and we're gonna do some crates. Blah! I'm scaring your cat. Um, they have that mob mentality. They influence these kids. And then they try to act like, well, we weren't doing anything wrong. You were. It's like, I'm gonna keep it 100%. You fucked up. You made these kids think that they're gonna win a game or money or whatever and be cool. It's all in the name of popularity. Popularity and money, I guess, mm -hmm. is what rules the world these days. That's a mouthful. I think that um, yeah. I think that's probably good enough. You think? One yeah. last thing. One last thing. Yes. Your donut. My donut. Yes, that's right. I've been hearing about this donut since the moment he walked in the house. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's blue. And phlegm. Flem caught in my throat. It was pretty bad. All right, it's blue. It's summertime. And what does summertime and danger remind you of? And danger. And danger. Summertime and danger. And it's not fireworks. Um, prostitutes. I like the way you think. Um, crack. Da -na, da -na, da -na, Sharks. Da -na, Is that a big shark coming on there. Nice. Yeah, hey, let's see if I can focus this on the camera right there. Here, I'll keep it right there. Hold on. There. Whoa. No, 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 no. That's a crazy ass donut. What's the filling in that donut? Uh, I don't know. Let's do a taste test, I guess. Right there. Let me 
make sure you're in focus. There, great, right, boom, okay. I don't know. Ooh, jelly. jelly. It's nice. jelly. And it's got a jelly shark on it. That's a gummy shark. Gummy shark. Hmm. Not a jelly shark. Oh my god, we're a food <sighs> reviewer. We're a reaction thing. I, you know what I, I had often wanted to do? I wanted to do uh, like Phantom Gourmet style YouTube videos at local restaurants. <coughs> How? Like we just show up, order some fucking food, eat it and review it and review the place and fucking record while we're doing it. They're going to stop us. You can't record. Probably. No. Fuck them. Damn then we, the man. Then we eat half our Damn food and leave too. without paying because they're kicking us out because they won't let us record. What and then we put it on YouTube how much assholes the people are at this restaurant are. Drama, Joe. Yes. Um, would you believe that it's very popular for fat men to sit inside their cars and eat Taco Bell or chips or 7-Eleven stuff and review it? And they actually make a living off of it. Mm -hmm. Only in America, folks. Well, I wouldn't say America because in Korea, people actually live stream eating food. I wonder if they could do that, like, instead of, like, you go to a, a fast food place and, and get fast food and sit in and fat, fat guy sits in his car and reviews it. But he goes to, like, amazing video, gets porn and sits in his car and reviews it in the parking lot. I'm sorry? <laughs> you lost me at porn. Replace the fast food with porn. Like, oh, fat guy in a car goes to amazing video or some sort of like adult video store, buys his porn, goes sit in the fucking parking lot <laughs> and reviews it. Where were you with the topic at the, the start of the show? <laughs> That's fucking amazing. <laughs> Holy shit, could you imagine that? Fuck man, this that this, would make a wild. That would not be. This has to be a separate part of the video. This has to be a separate video. <laughs> that would be all. Views. Elaborate, elaborate. Like, imagine, um, <laughs> Taka the uh, the porn reviewer, and the you porn, think it's like some guy producer. who reviews movies. <laughs> you think Taka the producer, um, who reviews porn movies. You think he's gonna review like stories and plot lines and whatever. <laughs> no, but he's sitting in his car. But he, you see him. Shit. You see somebody film him going into uh, the local porn store and coming out, and then he just shows the thing. Gives us so. This is the new uh, Busty Juggies, and uh, it's issue number forty-eight. Wow! Whoa, mama! And I'll be in my car reviewing it. And then this. I'll be in my car reviewing it, and all of a sudden it shows like a like a GoPro. He goes, "All right, let's get ready," and he starts warming. I start warming up my hands, and all of a sudden it's like. And you rip the plastic bag that's off the porno. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, no, not these days. Nobody knows what you're no talking about. No one knows. About. Nah, no one knows. All... Everybody has the internet. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I just start going like this. And all of a sudden, the car starts shaking. Oh, uh, I don't. Nobody needs this yeah. TMI. Uh, <laughs> What's that noise? Money shot. And then you don't see where it goes. Taka makes it and all of a sudden I just go out orgasms. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Bye. Like, oh, comment, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a montage when I actually come. I actually have a montage where it's like uh, that, and then again, and then slow with like sad music. <sighs> you know, it would only make it funnier if I had the Thomas hide. the Trank Engine song. The Trank like, Engine? <laughs> no, Thomas the Tank Engine song playing behind it. <laughs> have you seen that? Have you seen that meme? <laughs> have you seen the, the Thomas the Trank Engine Tank Engine meme, where it's like a uh, old like boiler? In a garage, all rusted and like broken down, it's like years after Thomas. I've seen um, prank addiction. I've seen people add the Thomas the Tank Engine song or its face to videos. I think that's the most important memes these days in this culture. You have um, the TTEs. Yeah, yeah. The um, you have the music playing. You have Dank. You have Dab. You go. 
Oh, uh, what's up, that boy? <sighs> oh, that boy, what's up? All right, thank you very much for watching, everyone. My name is Tucker, the producer. You can find me at Brohawk Riley. Joe Dirty Locks at Dirty Locks. Uh, Dirty Locks right there. And um, the thoughts, views expressed here on this diecast do not represent any affiliated um, podcasts or live streams whatsoever. And they um, don't even represent my own thoughts and views. That's right. That's right. Thoughts and views, blah, 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 blah. So uh, if you are offended. Good. Yeah. Go fuck, fuck yourself. Fuck you. Yo, flowing in the session, flutter in the section. The rap style dope, plus the bonus is the message. You sell out, no, keep cool, is the lesson. Silence is relying, keep your promo for your pressing. The mic keep a presence, who you live in a beat. The spot around trials over trials and beats. The fittest if they get to breathe the sigh of relief. Signs of peace, shine, the wolf that you out for the beat.